Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham Insurance and Financial Services. This show focuses on sharing good news and powering the good in our community. Now here's your host, City Current CEO, Jeremy Park. Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And in this case, we're talking about the power of dance and movement. We're honored to be with Lauren Morris, owner and executive director of Move Inclusive Dance. How are you doing? I am good. The honor is all mine. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And so give us a little bit of history. Let's start because it's somewhat of an anniversary year. So give us a little background for Move Inclusive Dance. It is. So we are celebrating a milestone year. This is our fifth anniversary in our studio. Um, Technically, the organization started in the summer of 2018. So we've been at it for about six years. But um, that first project that we launched with, I always say it was a pilot to see what happened. Um, I had had this idea of a dance program for people of all abilities for a very long time. And it was something that I just couldn't get out of the back of my mind. And so I finally decided I've got to just test this. I've got to see what it's about. And so in that summer of 2018, we did a little dance camp for teens and adults with Down syndrome. And it was a major hit. And so I spent the next year fundraising and opened our studio that now serves people of all ability levels in the Bellevue area of Nashville in August of 2019. So we serve all ages, all different types of diagnoses, disabilities. And then we also have some students in our program who actually are typically developing individuals, but um, either for themselves or maybe the parent loves the idea of their kid being in this really unique environment where they can uh, have this opportunity to develop socially in a way that they may not otherwise because they're around people who may not be like them. So it's a completely inclusive program. And yeah, we we love what we do. It's an awesome opportunity. Give us a little bit of your background, your story tied to dance, tied to what you're doing. Give us a little bit of your background. Sure. So I grew up dancing, as you can imagine. Um, I took my first dance class when I was three years old, and it was throughout my entire childhood, even into um, my college, you know, experience and beyond my favorite thing to do. I always wanted to be in dance class, be at the dance studio. And I knew that it would always be a part of my life, but I didn't really know exactly what that meant. I didn't know what it would look like. I didn't know if I wanted to go into performing or teaching. I didn't think I wanted to own a dance studio, funny enough. Um, But I did early on have this idea of a program that was designed for people with disabilities. And, um, you know, I didn't actually have any personal connection to anyone in that community at the time. I always say it was just kind of a God planted idea in my brain. And, um, I remember mentioning it to my mom and kind of just brushing it off and being like, oh, someone should do that. Never really thinking that I would actually pursue it. And then fast forward, uh, I graduate college with a degree in dance education. I moved to New York and I land a job at a nonprofit dance studio up there that was kind of a similar concept. It wasn't for people with disabilities. It was for girls in a low income neighborhood. But I had a light bulb moment where I thought, okay, this is a very similar thought, you know, using dance to better people's lives in some way. And dance had transformed my life in so many ways. So I knew firsthand the impact that it could have. And I guess I just saw a potential to bring that to a community of people who don't have access to just sign up for a dance class like I can. And so that's kind of where it all began. And then, like I said, once I I moved to Nashville and it was that summer of 2018 that I thought I finally just have to try this and I've been at it ever since. When you think about the power of dance, and this will lead us into everything you do, the magic unfolding, it's self-expression, it's physical fitness, it's confidence. Like there's a lot that goes into this that obviously you've experienced firsthand. And so when you think about the power of dance, what does that look like? Yeah. 
Well, I love that you get it because you just named a lot of the things that I find myself explaining to people, because if you haven't experienced something like that, um, you know, maybe those aren't the first things that come to mind when you think of a dance class, you might think of it more of just like a physical activity that you can do. And there are so many great physical, um, you know, pros that come out of taking a dance class for sure, but it's so much more than that. And, you know, I also find myself telling people like, think back to your childhood, like what your thing was, what your hobby was, um, whether that was you played some type of, you know, sports or um, just some type of activity that you were really into. It could be more art focused, but, you know, if you can think back to whatever that thing was for you, it probably shaped who you are in a lot of ways through the things that you just said, right? Um, learning how to express yourself, learning how to be on a team, learning how to communicate with other people. These are all things that transcend outside of that activity and hopefully help us live better lives. And so what we are seeing through the students in our program is exactly that. They are becoming more confident. They are um, picking up on social skills that they may not otherwise. You know, I have so many students that come to mind with specific examples of just how their lives have become better through taking a weekly dance class. Um, so it is, it is much larger than, you know, what it looks like on paper and, the fact that we get to see that happen every day and hear these stories from the parents, it's so validating that, you know, of course we believe in what we do, but we really are seeing real life examples of it happening every day. Yeah. And as you're talking, it, it gives kids an identity, right? Like, and that, I think that's a very strong thing, especially for a youth uh, to have a sense of purpose and identity and something to look forward to and the inspiration mm -hmm. And just like you said, then the, the teamwork, the communication, all of that, and then the larger ripple effect out in the community. When you think about showcases and inviting the public to see the ability of all these individuals and the team, like that's a really cool, powerful transformational experience, both internal and external. And so there's a lot there. Go ahead and dive into the programs, the classes. Go ahead and start yep. unpacking it. So we have weekly classes that happen in Nashville and Franklin, um, and then we do some virtual stuff as well. So we're able to expand our reach beyond just kind of the greater Nashville area. But uh, we're a year round program. So we continue through the summer with those same weekly classes. Uh, they are for the most part grouped by age and ability level. Um, so we, you know, that's one of the number one questions I feel like we get, like, how do you put how do you do what you do? You know, is it is it that there's a class for kids with Down syndrome and a class for kids with autism? And no, we the whole point is it to be this kind of immersive, inclusive experience, um, especially for that element that you just mentioned of it being also like a teachable moment for people in the community. We have a lot of uh, volunteers that are involved in the program. Some of them are peer aged to the students. And so it's important that it is um, a mixture of people in the room, right? But at the same time to make sure they're getting the experience that they need based off whatever their needs are, we do have to factor ability level into a certain degree. So there are some classes where, you know, I use this example a lot, like we might have a teens groovy moves class on a Tuesday and a teens groovy moves class on a Wednesday. And those are the same class, but based on who's signed up for each group, they look completely different. Um, so that's where our team comes into play. And I, I can't speak highly enough about all of our teachers and our staff. Um, they are trained to adapt to whoever enters the doors that day and make sure that that person gets what they need to receive the experience that they deserve. So um, yeah, we have a, a variety of genres, mostly groovy moves. What I just mentioned, that's kind of our signature style that is definitely one of the more popular classes. It's just a very upbeat, high energy class, but we also have ballet lyrical, creative movement. We have a musical theater class now, and we've started doing some Latin dance as well. And I can imagine all of those are fun and very popular, especially when you think about just that variety and being able to go through and learn all these different styles. But then you think about more of the Broadway and the theatrical and how that can lead to all sorts of new stage productions and yeah. you know, opportunities to go and expand your horizons, even in different cities, which is really cool. Exactly. And, and another, so we kind of have, you know, various channels of programming. So that's definitely 
the main channel of programming for us. We also have community outreach, which our program director, Megan Giroux, has been able to expand significantly in the last year. But that's where we basically take our services out into the community, to other nonprofits, to schools um, that serve other underserved populations. Of course, we intentionally focus on um, you know groups that serve people with disabilities because that is what we are designed to do. But we're also able to even, you know, kind of narrow in a little more and go into communities that may be, um, you know, more non-English speakers. Um, we've worked with some like senior citizen uh, facilities where we've been able to go beyond our typical age range at the studio. So that really just widens, you know, what we're able to offer to the community as well. You mentioned obviously having a ton of success stories and stories of, you know, kids completely transforming. And so you don't have to name any names. And I know it's you can't pick your favorite, but pick a recent uh, example to illustrate what we're talking about. Gosh, there are so many that come to mind. Um, one of my favorites. Uh, so I I always say I love I love working with our adults. Um, that has been something that since day one, I, I didn't really see coming, but I just, for whatever reason, love teaching an adult's class. And I think it's because um, they are my peers, you know, and we're able to find common ground and things that we're both interested in, even though our lives may look very different. And so I had a student in my adults group, uh, this was a couple of years ago now, but um, it comes to mind every time I'm asked. And he was very, very reclusive, um, had struggled his entire life making friends. Mom made this very clear to me whenever she reached out and she actually had a background in dance. She was a professional dancer. And so she, you know, fully understand all of those things that we were talking about, the life skills that come with being a part of a dance class that, you know, a lot of parents may not realize before they join the program. And so she was like, I know this would be so great for my son, but I also know that it's going to be a struggle to get him there. This is way out of his comfort zone. And so it honestly took a few weeks. Like I remember getting an update each week if he was, he'd be planning on coming and then they would back out. And so he finally got to the studio and that first class, he didn't do much. I mean, he was very internal. I don't think he ever looked at himself in the mirror. He definitely did not speak to anyone in the room, but he followed along enough, you know, for me to be able to give him some encouraging feedback at the end. And I just, you know, was like, hey, we want you to come back. So he kept coming back. And each week it was like he would kind of just, you know, peel back another layer, a little more, a little more each time. And within, I don't know, I'd say, six months, definitely that first year, he became the most expressive dancer in the room and, you know, came in, wanted to talk to everyone about what their weekend plans were since the last time he saw. So it really, really changed everything for him. And they ended up moving out of state not long after that, but um, he ended up getting involved with this dance company in their new home. And the mom texted me a photo of him on stage in like a full costume with his, you know, dance crew and just a really sweet message that was like, I, I really, I hoped that this could be something he would find himself doing, but I really didn't think it was possible. And so, you know, of course she was very appreciative, but to me, like, that's all we could ask for. And I still keep in touch with him. He texts me every holiday and in between, um, just kind of checking in and, you know, so it's really about the relationships that we build, um, not only with the dancers, but with their families too. That's definitely the most special part of the job. So how can the community help? <laughs> Lots of ways you can help. Um, so first thing, we, we talked a lot about volunteers being involved. So we're always looking for volunteers. And, you know, you don't have to be a dancer to volunteer with us. There are plenty of things behind the scenes that you can help with as well. So we always like to make that very clear. But I do love when we get former dancers or current dancers um, that come in because they, again, just kind of have a different experience because it's something that has probably changed their life in a, a positive way as well. Um, so definitely that. <laughs> we do a lot of special events a recital in the fall and other events throughout the year that need volunteers as well. And then donor support. We are a nonprofit, so we're always looking to find more donors to help support our programs, help us build scholarships for dancers that can't afford our services. Um, so yeah, those are the two big things that come to mind. Give me one more thing you wish everyone knew about Move Inclusive Dance. 
One more thing I wish everyone knew about move inclusive dance. I think it's just that element that we're talking about while, you know, dance is amazing. And I love dance, obviously, like I wouldn't have, have gone into this if not, but it, it really is so much bigger than that. And, you know, dance is the vessel that we use, but it could be anything. And so if you have a passion of something that, you know, has, has fueled you or changed your life in some way, what's a small thing you can do to use that for good? Because that's, that's the key. That is the point of what we do is using our tools, me and my staff, right? We're, we're all trained dancers. Um, so using the gifts we've been given to help these people live better lives. We'll wrap up with contact information. So website, social media, where do we go to learn more and get involved? Yes, we keep it simple. Everything is Move Inclusive Dance on social media. And then our website is moveinclusivedance.com. That makes it easy. Moveinclusivedance.com. Well, Lauren Morris, thank you for all you and your amazing team do to power the good. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Higginbotham Insurance and Financial Services is proud to power the City Current Show. We're a people-first company that protects what matters most, the families, businesses, and trailblazers that keep our community going. As one of the nation's top independent insurance firms, Higginbotham is a single source solution for business insurance, employee benefits, HR services, and personal insurance that's customized for you. We're here to serve you, the people you care about, and your community. Call 866-377-1959 or visit Higginbotham.com.